You can see the nutrient pollution in the bays through the algae growths and dark murky waters that were once cleared. One of the most obvious and important changes in our watershed is rapid population growth. And along with that, the land use changes that th this growth brings. It's a newly released report, very comprehensive, six chapters, 35 environmental indicators, and one overall goal, to keep our bay waters healthy. It really is possible to attain our water quality goals if we're willing to make the commitments to work together and to fully invest in the future of our watershed. The report finds farms and forests have been replaced by developed land, and there has not been enough preservation of natural habitats. An increase in pavement and rooftops prevents rainwater from soaking into the ground. Well, the biggest problem is having money dedicated specifically to the Inland Bay's watershed. Which is the job of DENREC that heads up the Water Pollution Control Revolving Fund. State money trickles down to combat bay water pollution. According to this report, the bay water has too much nitrogen and phosphorus, stemming from fertilizers and other waste products. Officials say moving forward, adequate funding will help to protect the bays. Our neighbors in the Chesapeake receive a lot of dedicated funding because of federal and state regulations that require it. But the inland bays are lacking somewhat in that, so we need to see some resources dedicated specifically to protecting the bays. As you look out over the inland bays, know that you serve a vital role in protecting our waters. In Sussex County, I'm Grace Griffithson for WRDE, Delmarva Zone, NBC Station.